Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Polkadot. So Polkadot follows uh, further here also the primary expectation. Similar here to ADA, there was no bullish scenario on the chart and therefore I think it should have been pretty clear that I do expect lower prices. Uh, we were tracking this, we were tracking here a triangle which broke to the downside as expected. Yeah, You would always want or oh, you would always expect, um, if you have the right wave count, the triangle to break out to the opposite side of the wave E. And here we had the wave E high, and it broke out to the downside. Here we started tracking another triangle, A, B, C, D, E. Here I told you that it could be that the triangle is finished and we also moved down as expected. And yesterday already I mentioned to you, um, we had here the first coin yesterday that fulfilled here my um, expectations of making another lower low, which means going below the low from the 12th of May and going below the low of the 13th of June. That was fulfilled and we are following here the expected move down. And what would be the next key level, next key support level? Well, today we came down to $6, so that will naturally become support again. Um, but I think this isn't over yet. I think we are going to see, I wouldn't be surprised at least, uh, if, we, if we are going to see here the 88.7% FIB level at $5.60. Now ideally we want to stay above that level. I wouldn't rule out that we even go lower, but this is definitely the next chance, the next opportunity for Polkadot to find support and to turn around. Um, my view is as long as we stay below 885, which is below that wave A high, we are in a selling area. We would need to break above that level to at least get a little bit of relief from the selling pressure and to get more buyers involved. Um, for now, you can see here on the more detailed wave count that we have started this impulse to the downside here, the wave five of the wave two. Um, tracking this here, this last wave down consisting of five waves in itself. So if I move that to the side a little bit here, the yellow wave count this reveals the more detailed wave count. I believe we've seen here a wave one, a wave two to the upside, then a wave three down. Why a wave three? Because it's first of all, a very, very long. Um, it is a, an impulsive move. It is an extended wave three. We can count five waves within this and it would be in line with the Bitcoin count and the ADA count. So following here this and also perfectly, it, it perfectly reached the 2.618 Fibonacci extension. That is for an extended wave three, especially in the crypto market, one ideal level, either the 1.618, but normally a wave three in the crypto market, in altcoins, you would expect um, an extension like the 2.618 and that was reached. So that means we now expect a retracement in a wave four, similar to what I said to you in the Bitcoin and the um, ADA video. So that retracement should go as a minimum to the 630 level, the 23.6% FIP level. Always the 23.6 is always the minimum for the way four. That was reached. We could now reverse to the downside at any point. Um, ideal level would be the 650 level, the 38.2% FIP level. That now depends on how strong the market is. Now, to do that, we would need to break above this descending trend line. So we have that on the chart. That will be another resistance yeah, that we need to keep an eye on. So only if we get above this trend line, I think we have a chance to get to 650. Other than that, we will probably move to the downside and then best indication that wave three is over here, or wave four is over, sorry, and that we are going to go down in a wave five is when we go below 597. And this is currently where we are. Yeah, and I would expect here to see the 560 level, ideally. Now, should we go higher than 667, which is the 50% Fibonacci retracement level? If we go higher than that, then it will be difficult to justify that this is still a way four. Then we need to look at um, other options. If this then was a more substantial low, maybe it's already in because at any point in time now, the low could be in for Polkadot. It made another lower low. I told you it needs to do it. There was a bit of a mess going on here. This was not a structure on which you can build a new all-time high. Here maybe, but it was difficult. Um, so now at least we tidy that up by making another lower low. And uh, yeah, waiting basically now for a breakout to the upside, but it could go down further. As I said, primary expectation would be to, to see at least one more lower low here in a fifth wave down. And I'll keep you updated about Polkadot. So hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.